came out 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.4, number 41. And this is where we were given two polynomials. One was a binomial, one was a trinomial. And we were asked, hey, is this binomial a factor of this trinomial? And it, we were say, or we were told to use synthetic division to figure that out. So basically, does x minus 2 divide evenly, if you will, into 4x to the 4th minus 15x squared minus 4? So really, I'm trying to figure out this quotient. Is this quotient, whatever it is, right, I'll put a question mark. Does it have a remainder of 0 or a remainder of something else? Because if the remainder is 0, then we'll say, yep, well, that's an arrow. <laughs> we'll say, yeah, it's a factor. And if it doesn't have a remainder of zero, our answer will be no, it's not a factor. And then if it is a factor, they say go ahead and actually factor the thing out. So let's, let's go through this, try and figure it out. So if x minus 2 is the binomial or is the divisor, I'm going to let my k be 2. One thing I do want to point out, I, I want to say here, like you can see that the powers skip, right? There's no x cubed term. And then there's no x term. And that's important to keep track of. So that's why I have here a mention of there's no x cubed term and no x term. And that's why you see 0 as the placeholders here. So again, I'm picking 2 as my divisor because that is the number that would 0 out this factor of x minus 2. And then my coefficients were 4, 0, negative 15, 0, and negative 4, which is why you see that here. 4, 0, negative 15, 0, and negative 4 keeping in mind that I need those two placeholders because there was no x cubed term and there was no x term. And that's, that's just how we get synthetic division to work. So here we go. Big question is, I mean, I, I know we have the zero here, but that's, that is the question. Like, am I going to get a zero at the end of this? So bring down the four. Two times four is eight. Zero plus eight is eight. Two times eight is 16. Negative 15 plus 16 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 4 plus 4, sure enough, it is 0. So that tells us x minus 2 is a factor. Oops, I can't spell factor today. Is a factor. And, and that's great. It's a factor. So we know x minus 2 divides evenly into 4x to the 4th minus 15x squared minus 4. And how synthetic division works is whatever your lead power was, in this case, or right, yeah, my lead power was um, an x to the fourth, right? It was a fourth degree polynomial. That means my, my remainder here, my divisor, oh, I'm not using my words, my quotient, excuse me, is going to start with a cubic. So you always go one power down. So we will do 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus x plus 2. That's my other factor. Or another way of saying that is you can say 4x to the 4th minus 15x squared minus 4 in ratio to x minus 2, right? That quotient, I'm using my vocab, is 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus x plus 2. That's one way to write it. I typically write it this way. I think of the polynomial that I, excuse me, the polynomial I started with because I think of factoring more as multiplication. I think of it as x minus 2 times that polynomial of 4x cubed plus, ooh, plus 8x squared plus x plus 2. So both of these are completely legit ways to write the factorization. And, and one does lead to the other. If I just change my pen colors here, you could see if, if I were to multiply, multiply both sides by x minus 2 here, you can see it would cancel here, and I sure enough would wind up with this equation. So that's that's what I'm writing down here at the bottom, is that we can write it as a division, right? We can write it as factoring or multiplication. You could even write it with the little quotient symbol there. All of those are legit. So pick, pick a way that you prefer writing it, and you're good to go. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.